Hey man, this is Robbie. Um, I'm driving my tow truck right now. No car on it, so it's not like I'm going to the track. But what I'm doing today is I'm going to Aichi Gifu Prefecture area, but uh, I'm going there to pick up a car because last week I was uh, checking, you know, listings and stuff online for cars. I found this older car for a very good price, but it also doesn't operate, doesn't drive under its own power. So usually if it's, uh, you know, this long of a drive, I would go ahead and pay for a towing company to record the car over to my area. Because usually after the, you know, gas money and the expressway and the tolls and stuff like that, it usually costs about the same. So it'll save you time and you can just get the car delivered to your door. But uh, since it doesn't operate, it will cost like three, four times more than a normal car. And also lately they've been charging a lot more for older cars because it is a higher risk to operate the car or to be uh, delivering the car if something happens in between it. You know, some of the cars that they do deliver probably don't, you know, you can't come across uh, spare parts and whatnot. So instead of doing all that, I'm gonna go ahead and drive there myself. And this time I will be bringing you guys along with my journey. I'll check out the snow cap on Mount Fuji over there. All right, so I had to uh, take a quick bathroom break and also I'm gonna grab some coffee too, but Japanese parking areas. This is a Shigata parking area. It's uh, very clean. There's a Starbucks over there. They got convenience stores. They got, I think, bathrooms on both ends. A very big, a lot of the parking areas in Japan, they stepped it up where it's just amazing. They have food stands all outside and, you know, they might be a little early. So I don't know if everything is open, but like here you walk in, they got a food court. You can get food from wherever you want. And you can also buy your souvenirs and stuff like that. And you know, all the drinks you want. Here you got Family Mart over there, convenience store, and the rest of the stuff, these are just souvenirs, snacks that you can get for your, for your trip. So everything becomes an attraction here. So pretty cool. the edge of Aichi uh, prefecture and it took about approximately four and a half hours to get here and this guy right here this is Mr. Muto he's the owner of this Corona and I went on and uh, checked out the car it doesn't run but it does have some interesting parts on it and I decided that I will probably purchase it from him but let me go ahead and check out the car real quick before I load it up and do the transaction all right so this is a 1978 Toyota Corona. I got Corona. Corona, <laughs> I'm not good. <laughs> yeah, so this thing has a 21R engine in it. It's a two liter, very old motor. I think they still have some parts. I might be able to use different parts from different cars, but currently does not run. I'm gonna go ahead and check that out when I take this back later. Some surface rust on it. And he told me there were coilovers. It looks like it had pillow uppers on the car and the rear is lowered. It's got some mean dual pipes in the back. We'd like to see what that sounds like. So it says 2.0 on a two liter CX saloon. Let's see what uh, I got Corona Corona. 
there we go so there's paint fade but i think it looks kind of cool i don't think i'm gonna have to really paint the car or anything i'll probably just leave it like this kind of leave it a little rat ratty looking but um going on to the inside of the car i took a look at the car it still has some of the plastic that's inside and i was uh checking the fender wells and everything the rust um area didn't look so crazy and he he went on ahead and threw these wheels in with the with the deal so don't know what i'm gonna do with that it's cool it's got the old cassette player and the radio I'll probably leave all that there it's got a basket for the steering it has a little bit of play i'm going to check that out when i get back as well and also this car has been swapped from an automatic to manual it's kind of ghetto rigged i'm going to go ahead and look over that when i get back too but overall i think uh, this is a pretty good deal i'm very happy with it i'm going to go ahead and load the car up a little classy car so I'll go ahead and load it up and I will be on my way home. some kind of coal overs and it looks like it's really really similar to A86's even the arms and stuff like that so I might be able to use some of the extra parts that I have from A86 it's got some kind of probably TRD shocks some kind of springs and here we go it's also got the city call all right all loaded up strapped down All right, another four and a half hour drive. Before that, I gotta gas up and just go. All right, so I gotta gas up. Oh, this, this is a diesel, so I think it's international. Diesel is green. So um, if you're into Japanese gas station, the green one's usually the cheapest, but it's diesel. Don't put it in your car. Yellow's Hiok, red's regular. Go ahead and gas this thing up and get on our way. But it's okay. I'm happy that I got the car. And I am in Shizuoka area. It's getting kind of dark. Two more, maybe about two more hours to go. Man, it got dark quick. Finally back in my area. It was a long trip, but it was worth it. Um, I can't wait to see this car uh, put on the lift, check out, see what I gotta do to it to get it running and stuff like that. Looking forward to it. that's it so um trying to make more videos uh with this car one of these days when i get to check it out a little bit more and um do anything to it but 
All right, well, thanks, guys, for coming along. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, don't uh, forget to subscribe. And also, if you liked it, please hit the like button. And until I see you guys next time, peace out.